Sadnam. So with this powerful evolutionary energy, we're seeing so much change in our life. And one area that we're seeing a lot of change is in the realm of relationships. So people are coming, people are going. It's like musical chairs. You can't predict who's going to be beside you, who's going to be in your life, who's destined to be in your life. And you can't predict who will leave your life, who's not destined to walk the path with you. So this can be very unsettling to the mind and the ego, because the mind and the ego want everything to remain the same, to give you this false sense of security. And this is impossible because everything out here is supposed to come and go. It's supposed to appear and disappear. And this is called life. This is called Maya. So it's not personal. It's actually impersonal because we're, we're just electromagnetic fields interacting with one another in order for our soul to evolve and grow. So it's kind of a clinical way to describe what we're doing, right? We gather together to socialize, to work together, work on projects, to raise families, things like that. But actually that's what we're doing. We're coming together so that our soul can evolve and grow. So the spiritual lessons are coming fast and furious. When one is done and completed, boom, the next one's up for you to conquer, for you to win. So these spiritual lessons are really coming through the area of relationships. And this isn't just romantic relationships, like your partnerships and your marriage, but all relationships. So your friendships, uh, relationships with your children, your siblings, right, your parents, relationships at school, relationships in the workplace. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a hermit, you still have to relate to someone, right? Even if it's the post, the postman. Some souls are choosing to leave the planet right now through physical death. Some souls are choosing to go this far. I'm going this far on my spiritual journey, on my healing journey. I'm not gonna go any further than this in terms of my evolution. That's their choice, it's none of your business. So when a person is disappearing from your life, you have a choice. You can either accept this as the will of the divine, or you can resist it and react to it. And that's a painful way of dealing with change. So you may be get clingy or needy or um, angry that they're leaving, blaming, complaining. And if you're single, you may be desperately looking and seeking for a partner. You make it your life's mission to find someone. It's almost like a part-time job for you. So if you can feel this frantic, you know, this frantic anxiety within you, that's a good sign that something's off. So you need to question your motivation behind wanting to be in a relationship. Do you want to be in a relationship to avoid being alone? Do you want to be in a relationship to avoid feeling alone, the fear of being alone? These are some hard questions to ask yourself, but they're key, especially during this time that we're in right now. So, and also, are you clinging to a relationship right now because you don't want to be alone? Because you don't want to face that fear of being alone? Now this wound of loneliness, it's in our DNA. Every human has to face this fear of being alone. So when you face this fear of being alone, you're coming face to face with the truth. You are alone, right? That's the truth, is you are alone. You came into this world alone, and you'll leave this world alone. When you take your last breath, no one's gonna be there with you. 
that's a journey that you have to take on your own so the ego and the mind make up stories about twin flames and soulmates and things like that all romantic fairy tales about keeping you away from this truth that you are alone okay so let's elevate this up right <laughs> you're not you didn't come to watch this video to to, to get you know going to some kind of downer into some pessimistic uh, futile despair so when you face this deep deep feeling of loneliness that we all have to face right that's the stop the train is delivering you to your stop and that's the stop so you face this loneliness you feel this loneliness very very deeply and out of that boom comes oneness right so oneness so you've got to move through it's like a wormhole you've got to feel the loneliness to experience the oneness so that's the paradox right there's so much um, power in the paradox uh, in the Aquarian age and the oneness is also your soul your oneness is that infinite teacher that wise sage that lives within you so the sages say that loneliness is the highest state of consciousness right because through that loneliness through our own suffering our collective suffering as a humanity we reach the state of oneness in this space where you feel that you're connected to all that is so you know you may be watching this on your um, smartphone or your iphone or your uh, iPad or your computer that's all a projection of your own mind that's you even watching my image speaking to you I'm just a reflection of your own mind right it's all you everything around you is you and all these experiences that you're attracting with people coming and going they're just showing you aspects of you that you've denied right that you've denied it's all about coming back into wholeness back into this unity consciousness so the people that go let them go forget about them they're in the past it doesn't mean that you didn't love them or that you don't love them it just means that you're refusing to live in the past right your head is pointed to the future you're in the present moment you're in reality right you're moving forward in the Aquarian age and more people will come right and those people will go and more will come some will be beside you some will not so it's important to appreciate and value the people that are in your life right now because you don't know when the music stops are they going to be in that chair beside you or are they going to be gone right and even then they're not really gone right the capital S self the oneness inside you that's where everything comes from that we see in the outside external world so they too live in this space so they're not really gone right they're inside you they're inside your heart so I suggest to everyone to spend some time alone and ask yourself when was the last time that you spent time just for you and on Facebook in uh, you know surfing the internet or reading or watching movies or chatting on the phone that doesn't count as being alone being alone is like cooking by yourself right eating by yourself walking in nature by yourself being with your own self okay so click above my head for a meditation to help and assist you during this time Sadnam. So, no.